breakfast sponge cake. Hi guys, so it's part two of The bumper that I'm repairing that I got from the junkyard for the Project A4 Quattro. The video that you guys just watched will be a link up there. Okay, so if you're caught up, the problem with the repairs I did to the bumper was they didn't cure long enough. I was in such a hurry because I wanted to get this video done and uploaded in time so I could have a video out for you guys on Sunday that I rushed. So I just took the sander to it and I sanded some other spots that I hadn't sanded yet and nothing peeled off. It sanded just fine. Here's one spot that was repaired and I sanded it just fine. Another spot, another spot. This one is gonna need more fill down below because it peeled out. And then all this is the stuff that I peeled out because I was impatient. So, but everything else is coming out just fine. I have another, boo, -boo look, package O. Bondo. I definitely say I'm really satisfied with my plastic weld job. It may not be very pretty looking, but dude, like that is solid. I think it's gonna be fine to mount the fog light back to. And I even put the trim piece back in there and everything lines up perfect. Take a little bit of wax and grease remover and get this good and prepped. I'll give it some more 80 grit so I'll have something to bite onto. I'll do a nice big area. I didn't do a big area last time, and that might have been part of the reason why. Because I didn't go far enough out, maybe. And then this spot, a little bit more. Just because there's a couple air bubbles in it. And then that spot, a little bit more. And that should be it. So start it over here. That way I make sure they both come out the same. See the black one came out first. So break that off. That's about as close as 50-50 as I'm gonna get. Whenever I'm doing stuff like this, I always mix less than I think you need. I need. Because it's it's always easier to just add more and mix more. That's true. Spread it thin, which is hard to do because it pulls it out of a hole, but that actually worked out pretty well. I'd say that one's pretty good. And then when you sand it down, you might end up with a little low spot. That's but pretty you good. You can fill that with body filler you know, as, as long as it's a... But, but won't body filler crack? Not if you leave it thin. When you put a, a quarter of an inch of body filler on something, that's when it cracks, it's no longer flexible. But if you take like a 16th of an inch or less of yeah. body filler, it's totally acceptable. I think that's good. I think I'll leave it. I come back to it in a couple hours. I should put on a SpongeBob costume and go four hours later. Now looking at the bumper, it feels pretty hard. Must have been staring at the other bumper out there in the driveway. It's not peeling off. It's on there. It bonded. So let's get this sanded and see if I need to do a second coat. Dev, don't blow away. It's really windy out. I hope this doesn't blow away. I'm trying to stay out of the sun because my, my tattoo is healing. Ugh. I can't show you. Anyway, it's, it's all peeling and stuff. Got to stay out of the sun. Anyway. Let's get to standing. I'm gonna wear this thing so I don't get bumper boogers in my nose. sanded just fine this time. I'm so happy to have all of you watching my channel that I can reach out to when I'm trying to do something that I don't know how to do because there's like a wealth of information out there that I can tap into. I don't know, it's awesome. It's kind of like a car community except on the interwebs. I'm such a weirdo. Had to get to the tall part of the tent has stuck anyway i'm done da, da, da. kind of there's one tiny little spot that i technically i should probably put some more filler and then resand it it's one tiny spot i'm really ocd so i'm probably gonna do it right here there's a slight little low spot and then right there i might 
sand the primer after with like 480 or 600 or something but i'm not gonna go any higher than that because i'm gonna be vinyl wrapping it i'm gonna get all the plastic taken care of now <laughs> like that change of scenes it's pretty slick right you guys get all the special effects with me okay so speaking of holy shit, so what i have to do now is take this plastic trim clean it up really really well and I'm actually going to use some trim black paint to it and I'll show you why. I ran into a slight dilemma though. So I have the center grill, a side grill piece, another side grill piece, a right side fog light cover, and a right side fog light cover. Yeah, I, um, I have two right side fog light covers. I know what sucks even more. I don't think there's any more in the junkyard. <laughs> so I'm, I'm screwed, I don't have another fog light cover trim surround piece for the driver's side. There won't be one in this video. It's gonna be missing. I'm sorry. My OCD got the best of me. <laughs> I'm gonna let these two little spots cure and then I'll sand them down. God, this thing is in such rough shape. Looks like someone ran over a gargoyle. So Charlie picked this stuff up at O'Reilly's for me. It's just some duplicolor trim and, I don't know, it's trim and bumper paint, but it's a flexible matte black finish. This entire piece has been cleaned with Nanolex X, which is basically like an alcohol substance. This thing is in horrible condition and it's actually faded in some way, whereas the black is just bleached white. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna have my camera anywhere near this. Charlie just got here and I was showing him the progress I made on the bumper and he suggested that I do a skim coat of Bondo now over the entire area where I did all the repairs, I guess you could say, hole fillings. <laughs> that stuff smells absolutely horrible. Yeah, doesn't smell good. So basically what I'm gonna wanna do is just put like, what, like a 32nd of an inch, like a really thin, thin coat over the whole thing? Yeah, pretty much. I'm no body man, so. I'll give you a body sure. man. But you know how to do this stuff like roughly, right? I mean, I've painted several cars. Oh, really? I hate doing body work. Oh, really? I'm not a fan of it, that's for sure. Spread it. Thinly. Thinly. Yes. Once it starts gumming and like sticking to it, the spatula, mm -hmm. you're more or less done. I can't believe how much time I'm putting into this Audi. Now I'm gonna sand about 95% of this off. I did it because there was very minor little low spots and a few like scratches that are in the bumper still. Bumper is nice and hard, just the way I like it. <laughs> so, come on. <laughs> this is what I have to sand with. It's a nice long, piece of breakfast sponge cake. That was, that was, that was a mess. I saw a comment on the last video, someone said I should get a respirator. I will 100% get a respirator if I ever do this again. I had the dust mask, I had safety glasses on, probably all in my hair. I'm gonna have to shampoo my hair today too. This is what's left of the Bondo. Now you can see there's a crease right here where the bumper hit something. This is where there's quite a bit of damage. So there's a big low spot right there where the bumper was pushed in. There's another spot where it was impacted right here. So there's another low spot. And then here's where the holes I filled and it was low around the outside sides of it. So I do have some sand scratches left from the 180 that I used to knock down the Bondo with, but I just want to get some primer on it and see what it looks like. And then I might have to do some more sanding. I'm just getting some primer on here and take a look and see what it looks like with primer and see if I need to do any more work. Time to get the zoom lens because I don't want my camera anywhere near the spray paint. so far. This kind of sucks that it's so windy out, but it's always windy here. So it made painting kind of challenging. First off, you can see I did not sand enough up here. Tons of sand scratches up on this top corner. This body filler is still clearly visible right here, so that needs to be sanded some more. The center though, where I glazed it with a Bondo, that looks really good actually. It's pretty much the areas where I didn't glaze it 
that look like crap. So I'll do a part three of this where I'm gonna do the finishing sanding touches, shoot a little bit more primer, put all these grill inserts on, install the fog lights, and mount the bumper on the car. And that will be it for this little bumper project. So I hope you guys don't mind me doing it in three parts, but it's taking multiple days for me to do this because it's a lot of like sanding and putting stuff on and letting it cure. Back to sanding. I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye. And then, uh, my nose itches.